हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एन एस पी लर्निंग हब बिकॉज लर्निंग इज लाइफ हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज मैं आपके सामने क्लास टेन के साइंस के कुछ इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर डिस्कस करने जा रही हूँ आज मैं आपको चैप्टर वन की इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करूंगी जो की बोर्ड एग्जाम में बार बार पूछे जाते हैं तो चलिए करते हैं स्टार्ट This is 
the electrolysis of water. When electricity is given to the water, it's they are decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen. Student, question number nine is also a very important question. It is a practical based question. Two gram of silver sulfate crystal are heated in a dry molecule. List any two observation. Name the type of chemical reaction taking place and write the chemical equation for the reaction. When ferrous sulfate react is heated in the boiling tube, it gives ferric oxide plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide. The green color of ferrous sulfate disappears and reddish brown color of the ferric oxide is formed. This is a decomposition reaction as well as a redox reaction. Next important question is question number 10. Why should a magnesium paper be cleaned before burning in air? So, to remove the basic layer of magnesium carbonate. Please note, basic layer of magnesium carbonate and dust particle present on its upper surface. 2Mg plus O2 gives 2MgO. Students, next important question is question number 11. How do you apply conservation of mass in a balanced chemical equation? Actually, the law of conservation of mass states that the mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Therefore, the total number of elements, the total mass of the elements in products of a chemical reaction is always equal to the total mass of the elements in the reactant. Students, next is important question is question number 12. What will happen when lead nitrate powder is heated? When lead nitrate powder is heated, brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide are emitted. When lead nitrate heated, it gives lead oxide and brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen. Students, next question is question number 13, which is NCRT question. A shiny brown colored element X on heating in air becomes black in color. Name the element X and black colored compound form. The shiny brown colored element X is copper. Because when copper is heated within the presence of oxygen, it gives copper oxide. When copper is heated in air, it becomes black. Due to the formation of copper oxide. Question number 14. What is observed when solution of potassium iodide solution is added to the solution of lead nitrate? Name the type of reaction. Write a balanced chemical equation to represent the above chemical reaction. Yellow precipitate of lead iodide is formed. It is a precipitation reaction because one product in it is precipitated. So it is called precipitation reaction. When lead nitrate reacts with potassium iodide, it gives press yellow precipitate of lead iodide and potassium nitrate. It is also called double displacement reaction because double displacement is, is shown in this reaction. So students, our next important question is question number 15. Write any two observations in an activity which may suggest that a chemical reaction has taken place. Give an example in support of your answer. Any two of these observations will suggest that chemical reaction has taken place. Which may be change in state or change in color, evolution of a gas or change in Thank you.